he uh, he's accomplished a lot in the sport. Oh, the guy. And uh, he's he's at the pinnacle of his career, you know. So you know, he uh, you know, if, if he's done, you know, and it's, he's done, you know. So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener, man. You know, no one has it. I gave him the head. Move over, yeah. move over, bacon. Now there's something medium. Yeah. Is that what? No, I think that. No, that's definitely insane. I don't know if it's Oscar Mayer. But no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, well. I get hit in the head for a week. But, yeah, Anderson, man, he's, you know, I can't say much about that. Yeah. You would like to fight him, though, right? I mean, any fighter would want to take on a guy like that. Yes and no. You know, uh, who wouldn't want to take down the pound for pound king? You know, who wouldn't want that? You know, there's a side of me. There's there's the competitive side of me where, like, I, I'm the guy that wants to do that. You know, I want to be the first guy to climb to climb Mount Everest. I want to be the first guy to do whatever. You know, that's that's what I want to do. But at the same time, I'm very close to him. You know, and. You know, you know, it's just, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a touchy subject there, you know. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I uh, in a way I do, in a way I don't, you know. So. Do you think he has anything left to prove? You know, he's done it all. You, your gym, how's it going? And you seem to have a pretty symbiotic relationship with Kings MMA. Yep. I'm kind of curious. Um, do you head down there? They train the pros Monday, Wednesday, Friday down there, and do some guys come up to you on like Tuesday, Thursday, or what's the situation? Yeah, it's very symbiotic. I mean, we we train together, all of us do, and uh, it's actually awesome to be able to have the variety of training partners to to train with. They're it's a melting pot of skills when we get together, and so there's not one there's not one head coach that leads the practice, but we design the practice so that when we're drilling, we we all like we all throw our input on what we've learned, and everybody everybody uh, reaps the benefits. From it seems like a very good open environment. You ever work with you work with Master Rafael Cordero sometimes, and do you have your own stand-up coach at your gym that, that works with you personally? Yeah, so I have Master Rafael Cordero who I go to for my stand-up, and then I have Danny Perez that does um, striking for me at my gym, and I've always trained with Abel, Abel Nunez, who's always been there from the beginning for me. So, um, so yeah, I have those guys that help me out, and Christoph's been holding, holding pads for me, and you know, just just timing up my game. Um, those are my guys that, that strictly work my stand up. Um, but, you know, it's about incorporating everything, it's about transition. Last question following that up. Another guy in your division, Vanderlei Silva, he's been down there banging. Have you been getting in the cage the last few weeks with him as well? Yes. We've been trained together. It looks like he goes pretty hard once you go in the small cage. It looks like he's, he's throwing down pretty hard. Oh, he goes. Okay. That's good. That's, um, that's probably why I'm supporting something on my eye right now. <laughs> right on. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, we're training hard, man. We're training hard, and it's, it's awesome to be able to train. It's, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to train with a legend like Vanderlei. Um, an awesome guy, too. Like, the guy is unbelievable to me when he comes when it's, when it's just talking about Vanderlei the person, unbelievable person. And when you talk about the fighter and what he's done for the sport, it's even more unbelievable. So um, it's, it's definitely an honor to be able to train with him. Is he ready for Vitor? Is he ready? Yeah. I'd say he's getting ready. He'll be ready. Yeah, he's he's looking good. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. And even if he wasn't, I wouldn't tell you if he was. <laughs> <laughs> but he's ready. Um, and there's been talk. Uh, also in your division that Hector Lombard is coming over yeah. and he might get the next shot if he beats Brian Stan. Does that offend you? <laughs> yeah, man. Shoot. I'd love to fight that guy. You know, and I'm sure he would love to fight me because I think it would be a good fight. You know, but, uh, 
there's 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 a lot of blood that has to be supplied to those muscles, you know. And I don't know if he can last. You know, what I have to bring him. So, um, so yeah, man, that's that talk is just banter. You know, I, I he's got to prove it. You know, Brian Stan is he's a test. You know, he's he's a huge test. And you know, I'm, we'll see what happens there. You know, we'll see what happens with with that fight. But should he win that fight, he, he doesn't deserve a title. No way. He's got he's got to earn the stripes in the, in the organization first.